All right, guys, so we're back at the Select Arc facility. I got Ben Cahut with me again. You guys seen in the last episode, we did a push versus pull on solid wire. So today we're gonna do the same test, push versus pull, but now we're gonna step it up. We're gonna use some 045 flux core. We got a half inch plate and a 2F. This time we're gonna increase the travel angle to 25 degrees. So Ben, what do you guys typically recommend as far as technique with your flux core wires? Um, we're usually doing a drag with it. Uh, we, uh, the push angle, usually for flux core wires, is not so good. You're worried about, um, especially on 75, 25 gas, worried about lack of penetration in the root, um, also slag entrapment. So we are definitely gonna recommend the, the drag or the pull angle, um, five to 10 degrees, just to be safe. So. so we're gonna do them both because there's a lot of controversy surrounded in push versus pull as well with, uh, with flux core. They said, you know, because there's gas, you know, you're gonna wanna push that wire or, you know, know the slag's gonna supersede that. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do it completely scientific. Um, we're gonna use the robot. I know that's gonna piss some of you guys off because they took our jobs, but we're gonna go ahead and take out the human element completely so there's no other variables we have to worry about. Everything's gonna remain consistent on a baseline, so we'll go ahead and get to it. All right, so that was the drag technique, which is the proper technique. Um, the weld looks like it turned out pretty good, which is what I anticipated. We'll go ahead and throw the, the other piece up there and we'll go ahead and run a push on there and then we'll take it to the lab, cut it and etch it and see the difference. All right, so that was a push. It uh, worked out pretty good. We got about 5 16 fill leg size, so very equal to the pull technique. Um, it actually, it looked like it went in there pretty good. We got nice, even wetting of the toes and stuff like that, but I guess, you know, the testing is gonna tell us, you know, what actually is going on in the root profile. So we'll go ahead and get this cut up, and then uh, we'll throw some acid on there and, and check out the results. All right, so we got everything welded up. Um, went ahead and cut a, a section out of the sample, so kind of, Walk us through the process from you know taking it over to the saw to, to what we have here. Yeah, when we're doing a fillet weld measurement, basically we just we have our coupon, walk over to the bandsaw, cut a quick section out. Um, then we get a, a grind on it, um, whether it be 120 grit, 200 grit, uh, just to get a, a uniform finish on it. And then we throw an acid on there. In this case, it's uh, carbon steel, so we put a 2% nitol acid on it. Okay, to bring can we go the, ahead and take a look at it under the microscope? So basically, what we're seeing here, this is the 720, um, this is the push sample, and we are not getting, is it basically what we, what, we, what we expected. You have a shallow penetration because of the push angle, it's a 75-25 gas, um, so it's one to wet out, but what you, what you also see here is just a lack of kind of, you have, you have, I think, complete penetration. If I were to draw a straight line from here to here, I think you do have penetration. It's just not it's not adequate. there in the root. Yeah. Right. Yeah, because you really kind of want to punch into that root and get a better depth of fusion throughout, you know, the, the horizontal and the vertical part yes, of it. Sir. Yep. That's kind of the downfall of pushing with the flux core wire. Right. With this with this gas mixture. Doesn't look like we trapped any slag. I don't know if you can get in there any closer. No. I mean, it's, no. it's not blatantly obvious. Yeah, some people will probably see this and think that there might be some trap uh, slag trapped in there, but it's not. It's just where the plates butt butted together. But again, if you're looking for just the uh, fusion in the root, you probably just draw a straight line here, straight line here, and see if it, see if it uh, punched in there. So. Okay. 
All right, so you've got the ability with this software to be able to show us exactly the depth of fusion and everything. Can we go ahead and take a look at that? Yes, sir. Throw some measurements up here on this image, and you can see where the lines intersect here in the root. You do, in fact, have uh, complete fusion down here in the root, except for it's not, it's not substantial by any means, um, but it is there. Not really what you're, not, not ideal circumstances. Not ideal, you don't, have, you don't have much wiggle room right there. Okay. I think you'll probably see more when we look at the drag angle. All right, so now we have our drag angle up here, and this is the optimum angle that you would want to weld a flux core uh, wire with, 75-25 gas. Um, you can see that compared to the push angle, we, did, we do have substantial more penetration in the root. Uh, this is an ideal looking weld here. Uh, we can do some, we can throw the measurements up there with the lines that intersect, and again, show you what the penetration looks like compared to the push. All right, so now we got the, uh, the, the drag or the pull angle up there. Again, this is the optimum way to weld the flux cord wire. You do have very good penetration into the root. You have a good looking weld right there. Uh, we have all the measurements up there that will give you the fillet weld size and the difference between the legs. Um, this is uh, definitely a conforming AWS fillet weld. All right, guys, so that pretty much concludes it. I mean, uh, drag angle is going to be the best or optimum and ideal uh, technique when you're dealing with flux core arc welding. Uh, Appreciate you taking the time, Ben, to you know weld the stuff for us, cut the samples, etch it, and all that, and kind of show us some of the cool toys you have hanging out here in the lab. So no uh, make sure you guys follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We definitely appreciate the uh, the support. Give us a like, um, hit that no bell notification. That way you guys get notified every time we have new episodes. Uh, we have new episodes coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5:30 Eastern Standard Time. And until next time, make every weld better than your last.